Hey guys! Welcome to the Redesigned with Prima Facebook group. Uh, my name is Leah and I am the owner of Leah and Wall Design Co. and a brand ambassador here at Redesign. Let me go ahead and straighten this camera out for you real quick. Sorry. Let's see. Say hi as you guys come on. I, um, I'm going to show you guys some of the new transfers. Um, and then we're going to use some transfers, probably one of the new ones on this glass jug right here. Um, so if you guys haven't seen already, Prima had a release yesterday. They had, um, they released some new transfers. This is one of them. And I don't, I don't quite know the names yet, but I have a couple of them here. This one is really pretty. It's all kinds of different colored irises. And then there are some floral ones like this. Let me just set these over here. Just so you guys can kind of see, I'll show you the ones that I have. This one's kind of like a, almost like a wallpaper look. There is a baby one. There's another baby one. The baby ones have been really popular. These are so cute. Look at these little clouds. I haven't used them yet. I have um, one more piece I'm gonna show you guys probably later today using the burgundy rose transfer, which I guess I could have showed you that, but um, it's over there. It's over there and it's kind of hidden. Um, and then there's a French one, of course. We have to have a beautiful French one. And this one has some cool flowers. Um, some nice pretty pink flowers to it. Ooh. And then, one of the favorites, I know it has to be a favorite, are the, is the, I want to say they're called Postal Birds. <laughs> kind of sounds funny. I don't know if that's actually the name or not, but um, there is the bird transfer, which I was considering using this on my jar today, but I think I'm, I'm saving this one for a piece of furniture. Um, I have, I only had a chance to use two of them before the release, and I, I'm gonna, I'm thinking I may use these birds um, pretty soon here on a piece of furniture. Hi, Renee. So where the postal birds are really cool as well. Okay. So I think that's all I have. I think those are the only ones I have. I think they are. Um, the other one is, um, burgundy rose, which I used yesterday and I know the name cause I used it. And then I used, uh, the, Butterfly, postal butterflies, maybe it was postal butterflies, like something like that. And we're gonna use some of the scraps of that to create our jar today. So I have this mason jar. Um, back in the day, I used to be very domestic and I would make homemade bread and I would make, um, <laughs> I would make homemade bread. I would make homemade laundry detergent. I actually made dinner. I don't do that kind of stuff anymore. Um, it got a little boring for me. So. I don't even cook dinner anymore. Um, so I had this jar and what I kept in this jar was laundry soap. Well, I found this in my crawl space and I thought, gosh, this would be cute to just put some transfers on. Um, maybe just around the bottom and then, or, or maybe around the top. Or I don't know how I'm gonna do it yet. We're gonna do that here together today. And I thought it would be cool to put like sunflowers in. So then I thought maybe I'll use my sunflower transfer, but I kind of got this thing where um, I don't know about you guys, which, you know, you guys are probably like the same way. I really like to use my full transfers for, um, for furniture, you know? So I have a sunflower, I thought even about making some sunflower molds just to come around the bottom of here. What do you guys think? Do you think we should put transfers on here or put molds on here? I'll do whatever you guys want today. Do you guys want to do transfers or molds? Uh, I'm flexible and I have all the materials right here. So... You guys let me know while I'm gonna show you how to clean it because the cleaning process is gonna be exactly the same. So, when I'm using metal or glass, I like to clean it. This is a mix of uh, water and denatured alcohol. You could use rubbing alcohol. Um, that works just fine too. But you just wanna get the, the oil and grease off your, oil, grease, dirt, all the things off of your jar, off your glass, off your metal. So, um, this process will work just fine for metal and it'll work just fine for glass. I almost feel guilty I'm cleaning off uh, whatever my, my daughter must have drew on that years ago. Um, but I, I was thinking of using it as like a big vase for like big hydrangeas or something. Transfers, 
Pat wants to see transfers. Um, Renee says those times are long gone. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not, I barely cook anymore. I barely even cook. I'm like, you guys, you guys like pizza rolls better, more than anything I'm going to cook for you anyway. So just eat that. Um, okay. So we could use transfers or molds. I was thinking even like the sunflower mold around the bottom. Um, sorry guys. I hope that my husband's calling me. He should know better. <laughs> You should know better than to call me at noon on a Tuesday. Um, I come live in the Redesign with Prima group every Tuesday. So you guys are saying both. So I'm trying to think how I can make them both work. Let's pour a mold and then we'll go into the transfers. You know, maybe we could use, I have the newer, I saved some of the, um, that's another thing I thought this could be good for is like a bug, you know, like to store bugs in because my daughter still collects bugs and she's 10 so I could probably trust her with a glass jar at this point but this might look cool with some transfers at the bar some molds at the bottom and then some of these uh the new butterfly transfers on here we're saying both all right let's do both let it, let's do both so I'm just gonna pick up my workspace a little bit and just set these over here and um, I'm going to show you guys how to pour a mold. All right, so I'm getting out my Illuminite casting resin. I like to use this stuff the best. And let me grab my big box of molds over here. Okay, so... I have molds. I love, love, love molds. So, ooh, you know what? I have butterflies in flight for a mold, okay? This one goes really good with the new Prima butterfly mold. We could do butterflies. I was thinking sunflowers, but I think we could just make this a butterfly themed thing. Sunflowers or This is always a good one. Leafy blossoms. Just trying to think of my good florally ones. Cherry blossom. I won't even tease you guys with that one. I feel like that one's always out of stock. Oh, these are the new molds. These are the new molds. So those of you guys that have booths and do Christmassy stuff, these are new Christmas ornaments. They're actually, <laughs> I created a couple and they're still hanging on my pine tree in the backyard. I have to go grab them. <laughs> I put them back there to take pictures and I forgot about them. Um, so I do have to grab those. But um, those, are the, those are some of the cool new ones. I'm also going to grab, I always keep a box of just regular like molds that I've made. And I keep them, I keep them organized in bags. So... I can show you how to do the mold and then I, I can just heat this up a little bit and then we'll put that on to save some save us some time. So first let's make some molds and we'll use the butterfly in flight because I have it and it's gonna be the easiest one um, to use. And then do I have leafy leafy leaves? Hang on, let me find my leaves. Let me find my leaves. Cherry blossom is one of my favorite. I, I one of my favorite ones. Um, I tend to make a lot of the. I, I like the leafy blossom and the cherry blo the cherry blossoms the best. I don't know if it's in stock. Maybe there should be. You know, maybe your Prima retailer has one. But these are always nice because they just they climb nicely on my pieces. I do. I do, Valerie. Uh. Yeah, Valerie, here's the thing about the molds. Um, you can use them over and over and over again. So I feel like they're really worth the investment. Um, and they sell out so fast. So like as soon as Prima puts a mold out, they're, they're gone. So buy them up. Um, definitely buy them up because, I mean, you can make a million of these. You can make a million of these. You could even like you know, make some and sell them in your store or whatever. Like they're, they're, I feel like they're just well worth the investment. So I do have a lot of them. All right. So here's how you make the, um, the molds. I like to use resin and I like to use these little, little cups. 
You also could use molding material, and I'll show you both ways right now. Grab some cups. So, I apologize, it's not very organized, but I want to make sure I'm doing these lives to where you're benefiting um, the most. So we're gonna go ahead and pour the resin first, and then we'll go forth and do the, um, we'll do the, um, well, I'll show you how to do the paper clay. Love butterflies and cherry blossoms, yes. Me too. Let me bend this camera down so that you can see. You can see my hands. You can see what I'm doing. All right, so I have two molds here, and the reason I have two molds is because I want to, um, I want to make sure I have enough, like, to pour. Uh, and I'm actually going to put three here. I like the sun. I feel like I want to put the sunflower down really bad. I've never used it, and I really like it. So we're going to pour a sunflower, too. So I buy these at GFS. They're just tiny little cups, and um, they're little shot glasses. This does waste a lot of plastic when you do this, so, you know, if you're like trying to not use so much plastic, you might want to go the paper clay route, but this gives you a cleaner form. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure equal parts. I ordered this from Illuminite and it is, I want to say it's like $110 for two gallons. Um, and this stuff has lasted me a really, really long time. Uh, and so I, I've done lots and lots of furniture with it. And I still have, I have a whole box full of molds. Um, so it's very much so worth the investment. You can buy the smaller box of fast cast at Joanne Fabrics for less. You know, if you don't want to spend that, you know, if you just want to do it for one project or see if you like it, it's like 20 or $30 for a box. Um, but if you're like, hey, like me, I, I like molds. I think they're cost efficient, right? Because I can know you, you know, I just feel like the molds are the most cost efficient thing you can get with your furniture because. You can just use them over and over and over and over and over and over again. Um, so I feel like it's very cost efficient to have the molds. So if you're gonna do more than one project, I really suggest that you buy the gallon size um, containers. It's it's gonna help you out. So what you're gonna wanna do is you wanna mix, have these measured at equal parts. I measure these in these glasses just right up to the rim. I usually don't use more than this. If you go to the dollar store, okay, if you go to the dollar store, you could buy these shot glasses, and I'm going to show you the size difference. I think you guys can see it. And you can use these. These are much bigger. Let me hold this up. These are much bigger. I find that the smaller ones are better because your my resin always, um, before I can get it in the mold, you only have so much working time. You have like a minute or two of working time. So I don't feel like I can pour it in the mold um, quick enough with the bigger cup. So I'm going to take my solo cup and my spoon and I'm just going to pour my stuff in. And now it's starting to activate. So I want to just whirl this around for about 10 seconds. And then I'm going to go ahead and pour my mold. I'm going to do the sunflower one because I think I want to use this one on my piece. So. As I pour my molds, I like to do the most detailed ones first. The reason is, is because when I'm first pouring this, it's very fluid and it, it, it just flows into the details, the finer details a little easier. I don't wanna overfill them. I rather underfill than overfill because when I overfill, they get fat and they're hard to work with. So I'm just gonna go ahead and just hit this with my spoon. I need a little more. I just want to move it around. I don't want to overfill and make it fat because like I said, that doesn't make things easier. That makes things harder. Okay. And then I'm going to go ahead and just, um, I'm just going to do one of these butterflies. Just do another small one. I can feel it. Now when you're pouring resin, you can feel it start to get hot. Okay. I can feel this start to get hot. I know it's starting to, um, that means it's starting to harden. 
I'm just gonna drip it in some of these spots. Now the last one I pour will be the first one I pull out. So it's kind of opposite of what you think. So when you first put them in, they take just a little bit longer. I don't know why. There's probably a science behind it that I just don't know. But that's how you pour the resin. Super easy, right? Super duper easy. Just making sure it's kind of hitting all the spots if I can. So I only have a couple minutes of working time. Got it. This is all garbage now. Um, I do keep these two over here, these two cups, and I'll use those over and over and over again. But this is this is spent. Now, with you are so the resin produces a really clean, clean finish. Um not like it's not broken at all the molding material which you would have to find from a redesign distributor or a redesign um retailer you're gonna have to find one from them because i think that they're they're taking this stuff off the sh like this stuff is going to be discontinued um because i think a lot of people use the resin instead okay and the molding material is just faster but it creates um it's air dry, so not necessarily faster, but you can form it easier. It does shrink, okay? This molding material, I've used a lot of molding material. I'm just gonna do it in this right here, just, just to show you guys. Um, I've used a lot of molding material. I've bought it from Michaels, just like the air dry clay. I do find that the redesign with Prima one, um, in all honesty, is the easiest one to use. It's the best one to use. It's not my preference. Okay, resin is my preference. But um, the the redesign with Prima one, look at how I'm able to like thumb that off. And it's not sticky. It's not going anywhere. It's just a lot. Uh, it's, it's made for the this specific type of mold. And it's the easiest to use. So if you are going to use like, if you want to use like an air dry clay, which will help you create... You know, if you want to create more of a rustic look with cracking, I suggest the air dry clay opposed to the resin. Um, cause as it dries, it will crack and it will shrink and it'll give you that really worn aged look. But, um, I do recommend that you use the redesign with Prima one, the one I have right here, if you can find a retailer for it. And I just find that it, um, it just goes in. Look how smooth that went in. And then you can let that set in there. You know, you can let it sit in there, and kind of dry out. But for the most part, if I was just going to use this on a piece, I would be using the air dry clay to bend it around something. So I'd pull it out right now. And I already have, you know, I have a little butterfly like this. And I can just use it on my thing. I wish I could find fast resin here in Holland. I can only... Buy the one that needs eight hours plus hardened. Oh, you're you're using like the Envirotex, um, Adina. I think I said your name right. Um, you're probably using the Envirotex, which, yeah, it does take a little bit longer. It does take a little bit longer to um to dry. So I am gonna go ahead and grab my glue, and I'm gonna grab a heat gun, and I'm gonna show you how to. I'm gonna heat these up just a little bit to just be able to bend them. Um, a little bit to my thing, and I'm going to show you how to do that. Let me grab my heat gun. So I, I find this to be a great tool in the shop. This is a Wagner heat gun. Like, I don't even think I paid $20 for it at Menards. We're gonna put our fast cast down here and I'm just gonna throw my cups away because, oh, or I'm gonna drop them and splatter them all over. That's good too. I'm gonna go ahead and get this going. So I have to give you the disclaimer. I don't know if this is bad for your health. It probably is. Um, I don't seem to worry about things like that. So, um, Take that into consideration before you decide to heat up your resin. Um, I am going to just heat it up just a little bit. Oh, oh, well, that's not good. I just broke my butterfly. 
I'm gonna heat up one of my butterflies just to kind of, um, or maybe I'm gonna use, hang on, let me find a different one. Here it is. I have some flowers here too. So uh, one of the tips I'll give you guys too is when I pour these, I always pour extra and then I store my extra so I could just use them on projects and I don't have to make them all the time. I don't ever want to waste my resin. You know, I, I find that I can bend it just a little, not very much. Um, at the molds, Renee, I can bend them just a little bit. I can't bend them very much. So let's just grab our little jar here. And um, it's sticky now. Just wipe up the stickiness. Okay. So what I mean by, I'm not going to be able to like, I won't be able to heat this up and melt this around here, okay? But I will be able to heat it so that it'll it'll fit to the curb better. So for example, do you see how this butterfly is like rocky, okay? You see that? It's like, what's going on here? I'm just gonna heat it up a little bit to see if I can move it. starts to melt it a little bit and then I'm able to kind of form it to my glass it just makes it not so much so it's it's not so much so it's like able to bend okay but it just makes it so it'll fit this curve a little because this glass is curved so I'm just gonna go ahead and put a little glue on here and I'm just gonna set it on and that heat's gonna help the glue dry a little quicker Okay, so let's keep going with that. Um, let's grab some transfers and do both, like you guys said, because I like that idea a lot. I have also some flowers I think are just pretty. This is from the new, this is from the new Redesign with Prima line. These are the butterflies. Let's just do a butterfly theme. So we have it all here. And I'm just going to... See the mothy moth? I was not crazy about the moth on my dresser, so I tried to just stick with the butterfly. The um, the the new transfer has a good mix of moths and butterflies. Okay, so I'm just gonna set this on here, and it's glass. So as soon as I set it on, it's gonna stick. In fact, I'm just gonna just to kind of show you how easy the transfer stick to glass opposed to metal, or I'm sorry, glass opposed to like painted wood. Um. I probably could get this off with my hands. Let's just see. It just clings to it a little better. So it, it has its benefits, right? It's a little easier to put on, but it also makes it so that you can't move it. Like once it's set on there, hmm, it's set on there. So without a stick, I'm able to just kind of pull it up. Which with, with this was on a dresser, I definitely have to rub it down a little bit. I just scratched it too. So it's super easy to apply to like metal, mirrors, whatever it is you're looking to use. Fast drying resin. Yeah, this is fast drying resin. This is gonna be dry in a minute. And I didn't even pour my thing all the way. Okay. All right, so there's one butterfly and then I have a mold here. Okay, or mothy, 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 mothy. And then this one, it's not ready yet. So see, look, I can. Oh, look at that, it is ready. It's still very, very soft. So here's another benefit of using resin. Um, I don't know how long it's been, it can't be too long. It's so soft, look at this. I could bend this right now. Now once it hardens, it's hardens, but I could bend this right now to put around this corner here. Which you know what? I'm just gonna do because I can. So because it's, um, it's still just so soft. 
from that mold. So I'm just gonna put some glue on it. This is my favorite glue. This is Tight Bond Quick and Thick. You can use E6000, but I prefer Tight Bond Quick and Thick. I find it to be easier. I find it to uh, smell better. I just find it to be a better product. So we're just gonna overlap this. And I will. I can paint these once they're on too. Okay. And then I'm just gonna wipe my glue, my extra glue up. There it is. Put another one. I don't know if I want a flower here. Mm, we have flower coming up from the other side. Um, let's do another little butterfly or a flower. I want the stemmed flower to come up on the other side. Stem flower. Maybe we'll just put this here. I feel like that goes well right here. It's not like coming up from the ground or anything. So I've been working with other transfers lately too, and I just have to tell you guys how how um, impressed I the the Prima transfers have the best stick. They stick the best. They're the easiest to apply. All right, so we're just gonna make sure this guy's held down a little bit. What did Miss Roz say? Thank you, Roz. Miss Roz is always helpful. Thank you for being here, Roz. All right, let me grab my baby wipes. Everything's so close. I just have to like jump over things right now. I make such a mess when I work. I don't care how, you know what? The smaller the project, the bigger the mess I make. Okay. So we have one, two, three, and then I think maybe something right here, maybe another mold. Let's we'll do this guy. Let's just do another butterfly. And I'm just gonna put him flat because I don't wanna deal with it going around the edge. But I like that I have the option too. Okay. There we go. I'm gonna throw a little tape on these because I want to, I wanna flip it. Now, when I'm putting tape on these, I do need to mention that if I put tape over that transfer, the tape is gonna pull the transfer off, okay? I've done this before. I've taped something off and um, put tape on my transfer to like tape, you know, like a, I put tape on my transfer to um, tape something off, you know, like, like an edge, and the tape pulls the transfer off, so. Be cautious. And we're just gonna move right here. I'm gonna keep kind of messing with this guy. All right, so down here I'm feeling like, feeling like a flower right here might look good. So I'm gonna try to work around this glass and I'm gonna really try to use um, flowers on my curve or transfers on my curve because it's easier. Even though I can wrap this around here and I like that, doesn't mean I wanna, you know, doesn't mean I can't, doesn't mean I have to keep doing it. I kinda like just one, just one, that's just enough. And then we're just gonna go around here with this. And I'm gonna have to go buy some big sunflowers to put in here.
We have a um, we have a really nice farmers market in Chesterton, Indiana, on Saturdays, and they sell really pretty flowers. Well, good afternoon, Donna. Okay, I'm thinking another butterfly right here. Um, you know what? We're just gonna use the. I'm just gonna use the um the clay I have and the clay is already starting to dry and I'm going to put it up here like this and that clay is going to be really easy to just use right here. So I'm just going to glue it and I know it's going to shrink, but it's not going to affect anything because it's just a, it's just a jar. So this is done with the clay. And I'm just keep coming back to this guy and I want to clean up that edge because it's not paint. I have on here it's uh you know it's just glass so okay all right I feel like we need transfer right here but we can't put anything right there because well we're drying so let's do this side let's do this side right here I'm gonna put this this guy right here hi Llewellyn I'm having trouble seeing comments sorry guys I'm like reading upside down You pick sunflowers. I saw that. Um, yeah, this, I went there the other weekend. My husband and I went on a bike ride. And it was actually 20, it was at 25 miles and we ended up in Chesterton. And um, I really wanted to buy, I really wanted to buy some flowers, but I couldn't because I didn't have a car. I had my bike. And I've been wanting to go back, but I feel like it's, it is, Chesterton's actually kind of far. Um, for me, I feel like it takes, I don't know. I feel like it, it, I feel like it just takes a long time to get there. It really doesn't, but I feel like that. Oh, yeah, I messed that one up. Oops. Oops. Okay, and this, this piece right here is a scrap from the wildflowers transfer. Um, when I'm doing crafts, 90% of the time, I'm using scraps. I'm using scraps because I want to use the rest of it for my um, furniture. All right, this is a new moth. So he's going to crawl down. He's going to be crawling down. Oh. Maybe. Sneaky little moth. I literally had a moth like this in my house yesterday and it looked like this. And I was thinking of this transfer as I was trying to kill it. gosh in your house oh I think I would die I'm gonna make I'm actually gonna make a butterfly out of clay right now um this sunflower you guys I I didn't pour it it seems that I didn't pour it really well um I poured them too fat I poured these too fat and I'm not liking I'm not liking the way I did that, and that's my fault. So we're just gonna ditch the, we're ditching that for now. Um, I, and I'm not liking it with the design I have going. I wanna make this big butterfly. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna use the molding material because it's quicker. And because I don't think that it's gonna matter on here, it's not like it's gonna like, sh it's just gonna shrink on here. Um, so it's not gonna be a problem. So if you guys are just joining, we did talk a lot about, if you guys are wondering about you know, how to pour, um, how to make molds with resin, which I really recommend using resin. I did that, but we're also gonna use the, um, right now we're gonna use the, 
the molding material. And I'm just gonna move this over, set this up for a second. Um, if you have a Prima retailer, which I hope you do, because it's the easiest way to buy things, they should still have some of this molding material in stock, possibly. I know it's something that they're phasing out. So, if you like this stuff, buy it up now. Buy it all. I like how I can just push this in and push it out. And I can make a mold really fast, especially when I'm doing a craft like this. I use this stuff for um, these Christmas pods I made for everybody I know for at Christmas time this last year. I use this material. And I also use paper clay from Hobby Lobby, but it didn't, um, it didn't give me this, it wasn't as easy to use. And my hands got really sticky and icky, where you can see here, I've been messing with this stuff and it's not, it's not really sticking to my hands that bad. I'm not, this butterfly doesn't have antennas because I don't, I'm not, because I, because I said so. We don't get antennas. I'm gonna do this little butterfly here too. And I like to keep this covered when I'm working to avoid it from drying out. Maybe this butterfly will get antennas. Okay. okay. Put my little extra back in here. Close this up. Okay. And then around this spot right here. Oh. This this guy's giving me problems. Um, I'm I'm finding right now as we're doing this, I'm not loving. The resin, it's not staying and conforming to that glass as easily as the, as the molding material. So we are switching. This stuff is just, it's just giving me problems. It's sliding, it's, it's kind of bending up. Even though I was able to form it around there and I could usually do that on wood really well, it's not working on metal. And I'm just gonna take this guy off. Um, I'm gonna wipe the glue off. And I'm gonna replace it. I'm gonna replace it with this because I just feel like the I feel like the for this specific project the molding material is working better. It would probably be better if I just let it sit too, which I'm gonna do. But I do want to finish up this side with you guys. So, I just want to finish this right here. And all I really want to do right here is put this butterfly right here. And I want to put something right there too. Let me decide what that is before I glue that down. I have this. That could be cool. Which is, that's exactly what we're going to do. So, this is a transfer scrap. I think this is actually from Violet Hill. I'm just gonna put this on here. I'm just trying to fill the space. And I'm gonna glue this on. Perfect. 
Okay, so at this point, I still have this side to do, but I'm gonna stop because I need to just let this settle and be where it is. And I'm gonna come up here and answer your guys' questions. And I'm also gonna let you know that I, um, that I photographed the project we did together last week too. I'll have that on. Can you tape it on? Yes, you can tape it on. Just make sure that you don't, um, just make sure that you don't put tape on your transfers because the ta painter's tape will pull off those transfers. I'm glad you think it's cute, Llewellyn. I love using extras on it. Um, oh no, new brushes are spendy. Um, I, okay, I'm, I'm assuming you're commenting to somebody else. I just want to make sure I didn't miss any questions for you guys because I couldn't see. So the resin I'm using is from Illuminite. And um, like you could see for the first, it's, it's a little bit flexible. It's starting to lose its flex. So what, what do we pour this? We probably poured this 30 minutes ago. It's starting to lose its flex. It's got a little bit, but that's going to be hard. So if you need to put it around something, pull it out right away. I mean, it's still a little flexible right? That's pretty flexible, but it's going to kind of return back. So a lot of times what I do is if I'm like, um, a lot of times with like the cherry blossom mold, I wrap it up a leg and I just, I tape it on. All right, let's see. Uh, I think that's all we had for questions. Okay, awesome. Um, I will show you guys this when it's done. I will probably stage it when I have some really big, pretty flowers to put inside of it. And um, I'll finish this one up for you guys. Like I said, last week we did a tray. I photographed it this morning. And um, I don't know why it took me a week, but it did. And I'll post that on my page for you guys to see as well. And I'll post it here in this group. So, all right. Other than that, thanks, Roz, for, um, for moderator moderating this for me today and Sarah uh yeah you can warm them to get a little flex not much but just a little bit of flex yeah I do warm them I don't know how that is for your health I don't know I don't know um but I assume it's not good <laughs> so take your precautions um but yeah we'll uh I'll be sure to post this for you guys thank you guys for being here and I'll see you next week bye-bye